Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome to Bear and Breakfast, a brand new game released yesterday on Steam. It's gotten great reviews. It's like uh, if Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing had a baby that was a bear, <clears throat> it would be Bear and Breakfast. Also, Chris and Scott, thank you both so much for the super chats before the stream started. Uh, Friday phone funds for Caveback TV. If phone has found the ice cream and beverages, thank you both. <clears throat> so much. Thankfully, I, I was able to find the phone, so that was uh, that was good. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. We'll 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 get into what happened up on uh, the top of uh, Hunts Mesa last night when we got stuck in the cave. Uh, but regardless, Baron Breakfast looks like a super good game. Uh, really excited to dive into this. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. If y'all do find yourselves enjoying Baron Breakfast and want more. A like would be greatly appreciated as always. Um, but yeah, let's enjoy this. And also, uh, Professor Gaming, thank you for becoming a bean. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? And Star Harper, thank you for becoming a bean. I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Oh no. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinking, or a, bl a blinking, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. This reminds me of last night. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Truth. So truth. Such truth. Are you going to finish Stray or have you finished it already? I will be finishing it when I am not in the RV because I want to make sure that it's uh, good quality. Although we've been having good service so far and we're going to be here for another day. So we might finish it tomorrow. Uh... Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Move. Oh, no. Can't do that either? Oh, I, get, I bet I can. I bet I can. Jammy socks with the bead. What it do? So we got an auto save. We can walk around as a nice little thick bear. Man, we got a thick old bear booty. Oh my goodness, Jarena, what'd it do? I hope you've been all right. Glad to see you here. Having a great time. Also, I thought rainbow soon. It should be soon. Just take a little nap in the bed. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Is this a tutorial? Man, more games need to take the Stardew Valley approach where there's no tutorial and you just figure life out. It's a much more enjoyable experience. Like wasting 30 minutes of your life for controls that everybody understands by now is like... I don't know, it's so 1990s. We've had the same basic controls for like 30 years now. That's it, no more dumplings before bed. Mm, I think there's gonna be more dumplings before bread. Bed? For the third time, Hank. Oh no, mother is upset. Mm. Oh, I see, that's a... That's a wall? Intriguing. Okay. But where is Madre? Dumplings before bed does sound amazing. It sounds the most amazing, in fact. Oh! Interesting. So we have, like, this cave. That's, but some of it's a house? That's so weird. Uh, my member chat keeps showing 13 months. Oh, yeah, it's 20 months, Ms. Pineapple. I don't know what's wrong with YouTube. I have sent them an email letting them know that it, they're broke. Did you find any diamonds in the caves? Lapis lazuli for enchanting. We need good enchantments to take over the Ender Dragon. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did not find any of those things. Unfortunately. And LJ, thank you for the 12 months. Bradley, thank you again. And Chris, thank you so very much. Again, by the way. Kaden, you gotta sit down, dude. Pacing back and forth and rocking the trailer is not okay. <laughs> I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Alright, maybe I do need a tutorial. 
What is this button? So we have inventory, we have our character. Look, we're adorable. I just want to go farm. Uh, see, the doors don't... The doors are kind of hard to tell they're doors, but I understand that they're doors now. There's Madre. Is there a way that I can bring the walls back? Show walls. There we go. That's... That's better. I'm up. I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? A bag of bare bones. Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides... What? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. I know that feeling. That's my every day. Cloudy, what it do? Hope the trip was going great. Yeah, once all the reading is done, I'll update you on our trip and the goings-ons. Uh, well, that run ruins the family. Wait, runs the family? Have you tried thinking less? Thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Ani? Annie or Ani? Who knows? In a room with Will? Probably. I should go wake him up. Okay. Uh, yay, Baron Breakfast. Thanks for all the great games you've introduced me to, Tag. Oh, I got you, fam. I got you. And thank you. Look at the Puff Pals game. Doesn't release until 2025. Oh, yeah. I've, uh, I've, trust me, I've seen the previews for Puff Pals. Oh, my God. Look at that thick bird. Look at its hat. Get out. Morning. Man, they're so mean. Got nothing good about being up this early. I don't smell any reasons to be up yet, buddy. Pal. Wow, so these ones hate the bear, I guess? Uh, watching this neat new game with the minis, sweating my butt off in the stylish wizard nebula <laughs> gigantic blanket. You gotta turn the AC up. So mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. I just want to open up my restaurant. And I want to make Will love me. And it's going to be a good time. All right. Ooh. It reminds me a lot of Don't Starve Together. Eat the bird. They won't be grumpy anymore. I agree. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Whoa. Okay. Intriguing. There's some nice ambiance. So we have adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Your inventory. Got it. Adventure mode. Got it. Cool beans stuff. Got it. Nailed it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Can I just bear this tree? How does one bear a tree? I want to scratch it up. What is denim anyway? Yeah, what is denim? All right, we got this junk pile. So we got loggers tools, zero out of one. I played it and there's a lot of talk. Yeah. There's like a fine line that you need. Hey, ma. Morning, kids. Oh, man. Did you sleep all right? Everything's freaking fantastic. Everybody's awake. Awake. We're outside. Things are awesome. Uh, somebody pooped in a hole. Something about black moss. Super cool. Uh, something about fences. Fantastic. There's bushes and tombstones. That's creepy. Why is the wolf drooling? The dialogue is hysterical, though. <laughs> oh, my lanta. I need to move this pinned comment because I can't even see my own chat anymore. Well, I'm trying to fix uh, the tubes. Hop out chat. There we go. That's better. Don't skip the dialogue, but there's so much of it. I just want to play the game. Another game I will be adding to my need to playlist. Thanks, Tag, for showing me all these awesome new games. Oh, hell yeah, Miss Fineapple. Nice. So I need to find me a bundle of alligator weed. What? I can't believe we got to leave this stinking place. Huh. I mean, uh, adventure. <laughs> oh, no. 
Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here's what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Nailed it! He will. He will. Man, these shun the non-believers. These god dang non-believers. Three of them just bringing our boy Hank down. This is unacceptable. Unfreaking acceptable. Ms. Pineapple, thank you so much again. Uh, let's do this. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further in the swamp. Oh, I'm going to the swamp. Can't stop me. Can't read what it says. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Your collectibles are special items you unlock for your character. They give you various perks. You can find your current unlocked collectibles in this character screen. Boom. We have furniture items, cooking items. Got it. I'm playing Dinkum and officially hooked. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Laura, I ain't going to the swamp. If there's one thing I've learned in all of my years of gameplay, swamps aren't where tagos live. They most certainly are not. I'm assuming we go follow this arrow to the swamp we were told not to go to. When's the next Fall Guys stream? When I'm not in the middle of the desert. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. I don't know if they're friends. They have not been nice to me this entire time. Am I mistaken here? Or is that how friendships are? I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something here. Hank is so cute. He's, he's adorable. Look at this bird, though. This bird could not give a flying hoot. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie the Car the Carlian dog? Brave but clumsy. Will the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. Perfect. And Hank the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promises he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in the adventurous fashion. I promise. <laughs> oh, yes. Swamps are where the ogres with onions... Oh, no. All right, gang. Spread out. I ain't spreading nothing. How's the Aragon plushie coming? It should be back home already, actually. Complete. It will be launching sometime in August. I'll get the exact date very soon. Uh, very, very excited about the Aragon plushie. There's, uh, the reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because people only think them up on a Monday. Hmm. Okay. Oh, LJ. Oh, no. Ooh, tire screech. What? What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. We haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where the sound came from. That's not what I said at all, bird! That's not what I said at all! Oh my god. God dang bird? Need that gator weed. Animals can drive? Who knows? Maybe. Ooh, there's some secret snacks over here. I don't seen it. I done seen it real good. How do I get through the god dang swamps? There's one big rock. Okay. Oh, it's an arch. Nice. Uh, so yeah, last night we spent the, the night up on top of Hunt's Mesa, uh, which is incredibly beautiful. It's about a two hour drive up the side of the Mesa. Uh, crazy to get up there. If you're scared of it's a, uh, but our, uh, our guide, Tony, did such a good job getting us up there. Um, and obviously, it was just a really good experience. Even though it was thunderstorming while we were up there, uh, there's amazing views. I didn't get any good photos because of the rain. I, did, I got a couple photos at sunrise this morning and a couple at sunset before the storm started. And I got one shot of the Milky Way peeking through the clouds last night. But otherwise, it wasn't great for images, but 
I mean, it was really, really cool to see the valley, like Monument Valley, from so f- some from blah, from so high up, slowly just fill with like clouds and like get the like clouds stuck around the buttes and things like that. It was just so beautiful, hundred percent worth it. So I hope you uh, hope all you wonderful beans are having a great trip. Thank you, Bex. Um, Aragon Plus, she can't wait. Oh, dude, this is our bed and breakfast we're gonna get. Hell yeah. But we didn't perma lose the phone yet, so, uh. Yeah, the phone. What in Sam hell is this? Its name is Finn? How long did it take us to get back? Well, we stayed up there overnight. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. Is there a pick of the plushie yet? Yeah. Um, Tiff and I, if Tiff and I is here, the plushie here, let me, I've got the, actually, I haven't shown the, the image of the final plush yet. Have I? Uh, gmail.com. Oh, un momento. If y'all want the picture of the final plush, uh, let me see this. I'll get it right now. Aragon makeship new version ready for review open proof unfortunately this game's music goes away when i tab out so uh here uh so this is going to be the aragon plushie it's freaking adorable i'm not i'm not bragging or anything but i'm 90 percent sure it's the best plush that's ever been on makeship all right. Hank's little bum is dead cute. <laughs> and Scooter McPie, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, attempt two, a greets from the Netherlands. Sorry, uh, disregard that time. Something to do with Northern Lights to be seen from the low country. What, 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 what? Man, I need to, I need to go see the Northern Lights. I've been saying it for a long time. Tag, we just adopted a new cat. His personality reminds me of Aragon. <laughs> Take good care of the precious baby. Um, so yeah, this is the Aragon plush. I we just finalized the design of it. I will be getting my sample. Uh, it should actually be at the house this week, which means I get to review it when we get back, and then we'll be launching it in August. Um, it's a squishmallow. So it's squishy, it's fluffy, it's adorable, and it's amazing. Um, so that'll be launching in August. It's basically like a, it's a pre-order campaign. So if you go to makeship.com, you can kind of see how, how it works. Um, so you know what to expect. I think it's $27.99 as well. I don't know what the shipping is. I'm not in charge of that. Will it be available outside the U.S.? Yeah, just uh, I don't know what the shipping rates will be, though. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. Oh, my God. Oh, that's terrifying. Is that porn bots with, like, a kid? What the hell is wrong with these? Oh, it's a very cool adult anime. My God. Hold on. I got to... These bots are out of control. Like... What is, what is going on? My lord. Alright, we're going to try and turn it to subs, but the bots now subscribe. Which is another reason why... I, it's just crazy. Just crazy. They've evolved. <sighs> Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in uh, the orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not in anything major, but I do like sharing. Sarah B, thank you for becoming a bean again. Welcome back. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. Oh, great. Great. It's Tom Nook 2.0. Tom Finn. Finn Nook? 
Uh, what do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your friend corporation. What the? Offering secured touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime? This sounds terrible. What is going on right now? Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for a brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We'll take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons, what? <laughs> the holidays they deserve. Oh my God. Wait. For humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. Yeah, I do love that uh, people have decided to rename pyramid schemes and then people don't know they're part of a pyramid scheme because it's got a new name. They're like, nah, nah, man. I'm not in a pyramid scheme. It's a multi-level marketing thing or whatever the hell they call it nowadays. I'm like, yeah, nope, that's a, that's a pyramid scheme. I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees. <laughs> Multi-level marketing, aka pyramid, aka scheme, and try to forget whatever they're running from. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you, or a friend, of a friend, would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises, by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet, and a representative will get in touch. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. <laughs> Will, bird boy, no. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoils sport cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We'll stand to make a boatload of cash. Oh, they're getting sucked into a freaking pyramid scheme from a shark. This is horrible. The other day I saw it described as trickle-down performance-centric operation. Oh my god. Whew. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human back money give good. I'm is anything other than good? Let's go tell the shark we're in. <laughs> we'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyways. This is a terrible idea. Shark boy? Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. <laughs> uh, press the green button. Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered to a standard legally binding agreement. Whoa! If I use your fingerprint identification data from the local police department, welcome to the family! Error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my goal with the <laughs> We did it. Holy God. about to have a stroke. All right, I assume this is our premises right here. Clean it up. Boom. 50 years later. This is why Tag doesn't like MLMs. It's all the dialogue. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, there's a way to push, like, so I'm a big fan of creating your own kind of story and, like, choosing, like, when you need to go into conversations. It's why I love Stardew Valley so much. Uh, and games like Stardew Valley. 
because the game just lets you experience the game as you please. And, um, and that creates not only a ton of replayability because you're not stuck in dialogue for half the time you're playing. Um, but you really get to forge your own path and your own story. And I think that's really important to games. And I think it's overlooked a lot. Like, I feel like people need to force dialogue in there to push some kind of, I don't know. I mean, it makes sense. But I'm a big fan of games that kind of just let you explore at your own will and and forge your own path, you know? I want to create my own mar multi-level marketing agency. Is there anything else over here I can harvest? Can I sprint? Can I touch anything? Is that a raccoon? Yes, it is. Well, hello, friend. It's Took. <laughs> you hang out with trash, you start to smell like garbage. Rich and appetizing. That thing is terrifying. Oh my lord. We're about to steal this thing's home. And yet you didn't like Skyrim? I'm not saying I didn't like Skyrim. I just didn't like Skyrim. That's not true. I do like Skyrim. I do very much. No, I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't say very much. I haven't liked a Bethesda game since Morrowind. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a pen on a string? Mine. I suddenly called my friend a motherless goat. She she plaintively bleated at me. I miss my ma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Peggy. You're just wrong, but that's okay. No, I'll be honest. I haven't... Uh, who the hell are you? Always wanted to be a race car driver. Not many bus Grand Prix out there, I'll tell you. That's true. And I played so much Skyrim, I loved it. So no, I, uh, I'm going to be honest. I just haven't played a lot of Skyrim. I, uh, I often get into it. The problem is I just don't have the time to dedicate to playing games like that much. Like, if I don't stream it, then I don't really end up getting to play it, is the problem. But I have enjoyed pretty much all the time that I've spent playing Skyrim. I just like teasing you all. You know, I gotta be like one of those people that dislike the thing that you like just to create some kind of, like, horrible conversation. Just to see, just to watch you get flustered. We need a bus sign. Your mom's a bus sign. Is there no sprint? I'm a bear. Find Tony the beaver in sawdust. Tony! Tony Pepperoni, what it do? Good my god, a bear. It's just me, sir. Hang from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk? I'm just yanking your tail. Boy, how's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We gotta help. Why don't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet, boy? No, there's a shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well. We haven't seen those in a while, have we? What can I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Stream Skyrim? I dislike Skyrim because of all the cool kids in school played it and made fun of everyone who played other games. Oh, man. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. Ah! When I took over the mill, here I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Oh my god, it's gonna need some privacy. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, would you like me to teach you? Oh, whoa. Tony! Tony! C cool your jets there, home skillet. LJ, 
What you talking about? Last try of what? What you doing? Well, I was hoping you could fix this old shack in Timber Crossing. How wonderful. We need my back saw and mallet. A ladder. Oh, a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? Bring the yellow ones. Oh my god, they're all yellow. <laughs> they're all freaking yellow. Tag, you have two LJs? Oh my lanta. What are y'all trying to do to me? Y'all know I'm on a laptop, right? This is hard. Did you find all the hood? I gotta run here, Patty. Got it right here. You're doing such a great job. Pick it up off the ground. Now head to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Let's go. We've had two edges for a while. I know, but why are they pointing it out now? It's been like two years. I'm so lost. So confused. I'm trying to read three... Trying to read the game dialogue, the chat dialogue, and keeping up with y'all trying to confuse me. Lucinda Jean and Lawrence Jan. Hmm. Want you to say our name? Say my name. Say my name. You dirty little streamer. <laughs> Almost time for the Rainbow Corgi. I'm so excited. It's Kaylee. Thank you for the 24 freaking months. What it do? I'm gonna go up here. Slap some wood. Ooh, beaver boy! Yes, all of this is wonderful. <laughs> And we're going to use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh, yes. This will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. Ex freaking excuse me, Will. I will yeet you into the trees. I heard this other YouTuber was saying bad things about you, Tag. You should oh, my God. It's called Mana Tap. Scoot, I swear to God. Scoot, send me some magic. I'll open them for you. You know what? I do need to do that. Like, open magic packs and Pokemon cards. Just cards in general. And uh, and then send people the packs. I think what people like charge like a dollar for that thing. People make bank doing that. Plus, you get to open packs. And maybe I'll have some good luck for people. I don't know. Sorry, stupid language. <laughs> I'll get started on this. First thing I'll have to do is clean up the shed of all the garbage. I did, you dirty beaver. I think I can do that. I already did it. See, this is why we don't need freaking tutorials. Because people know how to play video games nowadays. We're not living in the 60s anymore. Yep. Great. Now I'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. I got you, fam. Boom. Nailed it! Uh, a crafting table can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Cool beans. Cool beans. We did it. Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Excuse me, beaver boy. How dare you. Ooh, baby's first building. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got... Wait, now humans got over the cold stone floors in itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Mm -hmm. There's none of those things, but it'll do. Awesome. Visit the shop and find new items available for purchase. You've unlocked a new crafting recipe, shabby pallet bed recipe. Oh, no. Who's going to sleep on that? All right, we got Beaver Boy ready to do Beaver Boy things. 
Don't need no tutorials. I got thick bear brains. I believe in myself. I'm a believer. I want to see my walls now, baby. Want to go to the second floor. Perfect. Inventory. Build a room. Comfort. Bedroom. Mm, is this what we're supposed to do? Craft a bed. Crafting. Uh, cooking items. Furniture. Shabby freaking bed. How doth one build? Interesting. You don't have stairs? What if I am a bear and don't need stairs? Uh, were you able to make the bed? Sure was. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. Tony, why is everybody so mean to our precious baby boy? But here we were. I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. Well, hurry along. Put it into good use. I know I got to put it in the freaking house. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Furniture. Bed. Using the work... Oh. I see. I got to build the bedroom first. I'm going to build a corner room. Right on. How big of a bedroom should I make? Like that? That feels appropriate-ish. We'll put a thingy maboober right there. Then we'll squirt a bed right there. And we're Gucci. 160 gold. Ah, uh, yes, LJ. And thank you to everybody across the pond who uh, comes to hang out for our very late night live streams for all of you. I appreciate it. We got a new baby bouncing bear. And it's a good time. It's a great time. Tony Pepperoni. So, were you able to make the bedroom? Yes, sir. St stains and all. What? Really? I'm almost prefer to a dead tree I used to sleep in. You're encouraged. Weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their faces. Okay, have someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Okay. Oh, God. Gotta make my beds and breakfasts. Oh, Jens, what do you do? I need a front desk. And then we can close that. And then we put a front desk around. Huh? Like that? Nailed it! Did you. Yes, I placed the front desk. It's in there. That looks good. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. It took me like five seconds. You should know how to take a compliment. Oh my god. Go talk to Shark Boy. <laughs> Tell him we got this joint ready. Pretty sure this game is Bear's villain origin story. You know, you're probably right. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain, buddy. Press the green button. We like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. One human, please. Emily from Singapore, sweet baby beluga whale. 27 months, my sleep schedule is screwed up, but at least I can make a few minutes of a tag stream. I hope you're having a good time in Singapore, Emily. Have the bestest of times. Time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. Oh my god. These dewy, mostly hairless, hairless creatures were crunch. <laughs> Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. 
mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualifying harbingers of doom. Bit dramatic if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, keep your distance, boy. So much for that. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, we did it. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest to the front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, baby. <laughs> the Emilys are overtaking the LJs. Oh my god, they're... The Emily army is growing. Growing ever stronger. By the moment. A dinky shed. Rooms, one. Active guests, zero. What is there so many things? Guest request, Maya Forbes. Uh, bedroom one. Farewell, madame. There's some stains in your room and I hope you like them. Is there nothing to like gather or do in the world while we wait? How many Emily's we got? There's a lot. So this is a bear B and B. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Garbage. Ooh, but need another bus sign. One shark boy, please. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you're now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Of course, but of course. A shabby wooden bed. A simple wardrobe and a wooden footrest. Ooh. I'ma make another bed. I have one recipe. Crafting. Do I learn? How do I? How? Oh, I did it. Did I do it? I wanna make a new bed. Gonna make it so comfy. I'm broke. I'm broker than a bear in the woods. That's the joke, Caden. <laughs> Kate's like, you are a bear in the woods. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure is. That is accurate. Where did my chat go? Why did everything explode? I'm explore the swamp now, baby. Gonna find all the swampy things. Don't know what to do while we wait for our humans to do human things. Alright, I guess I can't do the swamp things yet. I'm assuming we have to repair the bridge. Would I be considered cheap if I use my free milestone super chat? Hi, by the way, hope your trip is going well. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> That's what they're there for. And thank you for the 28 months. <gasps> I found some wood. Bears love wood. So there's no like chopping down of trees. Or, like, gathering items and things? Is our human here yet? Where's our human? Details. Arrives tomorrow. What the hell do I do today? I've got no money. Because I'm a bear. All this is missing is a picnic basket. Alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. <laughs> Prestige. 
Wow, that means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly, but it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your property more appealing, by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to satisfy a degree before returning. Prestige is the sum of all decoration scores across a resort. Prestige can be found in the... Increase prestige in the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects have a decoration score, positive or negative. Oakley dokley. Oh, found more wood. Tay Tay in the house, what it do? My left leg is going numb. Not going through there anytime soon. All right. Oh, Raccoon Boy's got a quest for us. The Trash Panda. Oh, is that a fence? Oh, okay. That's some malarkey. Look at that. We cleaned up the garbage. Whoa there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? All right, enough with the questions. <laughs> what are you after? It sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble? No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> My colossal companion? I got what you need, boy. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap in the side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back to them. Great, let me just have a look at that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know I can trust you? Uh, my authoritative height? Tip, you can press E again to take all instead of a mouse. Oh. Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in the gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack and then we can talk. Okay. Okay. Get the dinky shed prestige level to two and find a sandwich. Paprika. Have a wonderful night. Am I about to thieve some stuff? Where yo snackies at now, buddy? Hmm. Sandwich. Your game? Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So did you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mm, just like mom used to make. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for a frizzle. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. <laughs> Awesome. All right, what you got? Level one decoration. Is this, so I got 64 trash. We got some old drawers, a small geometric rug. Ooh, a flower vase, a welcome mat, a small oil light. Seems pretty good. Buy one of those. I'll get a small, we'll buy some old drawers. A small bear painting. Oh, they're going to love that. And a welcome mat. Yeah. I got a janky mirror, too. Trash boy! 
Now, man, now I want this game. I resisted Dinkum, but I love the dang bear. Oh my god, you resisted Dinkum? What? I'm gonna tell James about you. So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets, no bad stuff. What kind of magazines? <laughs> Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a whole while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't, boy. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folks pissy in the process. Listen, I got plenty of demands, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell them back to. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of them rich-looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what. Since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of it. it. Sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is one done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. <laughs> okay. All right. LJ, have a wonderful night. There's a trade. Bucket shark? Yeah, what you know about bucket shark? Bird? Uh, Tony Pepperoni, what'd it do? Oh my lord, marvelous kiosk. That'll attract more humans, get us even more money, right? Well, right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Because I'm freaking brilliant, that's how. Student. Yes, that's what I said. Not son. Student. Take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Oh, did we get started? I feel like we did not start anything, in fact. All right, let's decorate this bad boy. We need an... Oh, wait a second. We'll put a nice little uh, sad table with a lantern, like a so. Put a nice bear photo. Now nah, we'll put a nice little mirror so they can see how ugly they are. How doth one put bear painting? <gasps> I'm going to put it right over their bed so they can think about me in their dreams. And I have a shabby wood, shabby bed. Shabby bed. What you doing with that shabby bed? I want to give him the shabby wooden bed, because that's bigger and better and more awesomer. <clears throat> All the LJs have left. They just don't know what they're missing. I would like to replace the bed. Hmm. Pen on a string. Oh, well, I made it prettier. It's all clean. Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things that humans looked for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. Here's a few oddities to get it all together. Need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver... Oh, I got one of them already. Easy peasy, baby. What's Trash Boy want? Trash Boy. You hang out with trash, you start to smell like it. I know. Apparently, there is some kind of treasure here that I need still. Maybe it's in here? Cardboard box. That's the little trash dude's house. Get a book on spelling. Get an old computer from sawdust.
Hmm. Oh. So we got to go to the thickets. How are we on day four? We were literally just born. I'm guessing wood just spawns throughout the day somehow. Can I poop in here? No. <clears throat> the ambiance is nice. You have to poo in the woods? That would answer the age-old question. Ah, uh, the thicket. Such thick. Much wow. Oh, Madre's here. So, somebody said there was a book in here, right? Next to the bird. Bird book. Get a book on spelling from the thicket. Hmm. If I was a book, where would I be? If I were a reading apparatus. It's a pile of books right there. There's a book case. Hmm. How's the game? So far, I'm enjoying it. I haven't, uh, haven't gotten to play it enough quite yet to, uh... Oh, can I never sleep in this bed again? I hear I missed the update from the plushie while I was at the Guinness Brewery. Now back to our daily dad joke. What do you call a Spanish pig? Poor K. Oh my god. That one took a second to hit home. I was like, poor K. Oh, poor K. Oh no. I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby. I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Whoa. Well, I can help you out a bit, but you have to promise to be more careful next time. All right. Here you go, honey. Did she just give me cash? Oh, my Lord. That's so nice. All right, where the hell's this book at? Y'all y'all done seen any books up in here? Oh. Bling bling bling, I guess. See no books around these pots. It's for sure in the right bedroom. It was not. But I will try one more again. There's a fish. Ah, and the thing that looks like a mirror was the book. Got it. Good Lord. Now we got to get an old computer from the sawdust. I'm a bear doing bear things, just flopping around. I like the I like the vibe of the game. I'm enjoying it. I don't know, what do you all think? Gonna make the chat sell me on the game. 
I'm excited to see how things uh, when they when they speed up because we're at the very beginning of the game. I don't like reviewing a game when you're still in the tutorial phase of the game. Oh my god, it's our human! She's got the longest legs in history. It's a bean. What you doing? Oh, she likes it. Unexpected. Goes right to bed in the middle of the day. That's okay. It's fine with me, I guess. You think it's cute? Nice. Lots of reading so far, but it's pretty. That's true. That is true. I feel like I should be able to move faster as a bear. But I could be wrong. I don't know what bears, what their average speed is. Like what the, the flight velocity of an unladen bear is. Is there sawdust here somewhere that I don't see? I was told I let someone down because I didn't have a bear-related joke. I can't let my fans down. What color socks do bears wear? None. They usually have bear feet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrible. That was, that was brutal. Uh, get an old computer from the sawdust. Oh, I know where the sawdust is. Oh, ramen. Ramen's good. I'm not sure what kind of bear that is. Grizzly bears can run up to 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. So yes, you should be able to go faster. Aw, oh, snap. Gotta be running with the thickness. Also, thank you, Tiff and I. I explained it to you so your brain didn't die, and I didn't get a thank you tag. How rude. I got it! You assumed I was stupid. And I am stupid, but not that stupid. I'ma crawl under this lot. No, I'm not. This bear don't go on four legs. Wanna finish it? Okay. Um, nah, don't do that. You need to sleep. What the hell is that monster? Ooh, that wood, baby. Let's go. This bear is having a good day. I guess this is easier than chopping down trees. Are we in the kit? No, you don't have to chop down trees or anything in this game, apparently. The trees do it for you. Boom. All right, we got our final piece of the puzzle. But yeah, we're not in, uh, we're not in the cave anymore. It was, uh... It was an interesting night, that's for sure. Looks like we can unlock a lot of different things in the game. That's pretty cool. We got all these little zones that we could unlock as we are able to upgrade things. How does a bear stop a movie? It hits the pause button. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Lord have mercy. And another one. Oh no. Could you grab my water bottle, honey? I think it's in the car. Uh, it took me a while, but here you go. Take it. Take my wood. Another one. Two bears are walking through the woods when one stops abruptly. Hey, what are you doing? The first bear asks. I'm just pausing for a break, replied the other. Oh. Oh no. Oh yes, Tony says. This is everything I need. 
Oh, our human left. Yeah, it won't take long. Nothing much for a beaver, that's for sure. Oh, snap. Look at that beaver go. Ooh, baby. Ooh. There's more wood over there. Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. You dirty little trash panda. You dirty boy. Logeria? Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across and a hunt. What? Crossword semis? I found in the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. I found that too. Oh, no. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word for the big cheese. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany, again. All right, Hank, my boy. I've about all done I can for this place. I think you got a good start here, although there's uh, quite a bit of work ahead for you still. I'll be in the back of my middle if you ever need me. All right, creepy boy. So he's got new items. Unlocking shop contents, completing quests, and progressing through the story unlocks more items for sale in the shops. Blueprints and cooking recipes. I want to cook some food. Holy guacamole, Batman. Alright, what's the most decorative things in here? Oh, a possum clock? <laughs> it gives you four decorations? <gasps> it's a hundred trash? For a freaking possum clock? How do I find that much trash? Why do I still have a quest over here in the trash? I don't understand. Oh, dude, why is the raccoon down? Oh my god, what is it doing? Oh my god, it's thieving stuff. Oh, freaking klepto thief. Professional trash talk right at your disposal. Yo, what it? Oh, oh, I don't think she. Oh. I'm a bear. Look at me. All right, so we got to get the dinky shed to prestige level two. There's no more trap. There's no more trash anywhere, though. Also, where am I supposed to sleep? Hmm. I guess maybe I can look for another recipe. Or I could make another room. Because we should get money uh, if we have another room. So we've got a wooden footrest, a simple wardrobe. I think maybe it would behoove me to make another room. Tag, look for a cave, maybe? Hmm. I guess we'll make this room slightly smaller. We'll make it longer. Like that? No, we'll just make it smaller. A smaller room. Put the door there. Put a bed right here. Boom. Put a welcome mat right there. We, oh, we're so close to prestige level two. Now we just got to get a couple more decorations. <clears throat> I don't know what this quest up here is supposed to be trying to tell me to do. A retro jukebox. A rustic coffee table. That gives me three. And then a hand-painted drawers. Nice. Uh, 
A medium red rug. Sure. That should give us the prestige level too. Oh, trash. Hmm. I'm assuming the humans litter, which gives me currency. So the more humans we get, the more trash we get, which means we get to buy more things. I know old man has a quest for us too, which we'll do in a moment. Nice little rug. Just a dinky little rug. Boom. Does that block the door? <gasps> Panic almost ensued. All right, we hit level two. And we just need another human here. It looks a little bit better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. Oh my God. That's 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Well, butter my butt and call me a Trisket. It seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you're earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman, you're presented with an opportunity. Mm. In order to achieve the prestigious Pond Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Complete the stay for two plus guests in the Timber Crossing. Okay. Hmm. Man, that train sounds so real that I th keep thinking it's literally here. Uh, guest request. We have no guest requests. Leaves in two days. Decoration 450%. Oh, ba oh don't kick. Mm -mm. Something about this game is a bit eerie. Yeah, I can see that. Papa Bear needs some more trash. Hello, governor. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? Haven't seen your legs around these buses before. I would argue you're the rarer sight. Bear noises. <laughs> oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Look at me, of course it's evident. Bears don't take a bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? Uh, I've been in a broken down tractor before, does that count? Mild bear noises. Oh my god. Sweet baby Jesus. Sorry, I needed water. I was dying. Um, what are we doing here? You know what? Do you think you could uh, do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been trying to send. But I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any posts since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find me a way to sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me. Beanie! Oh my god. I'm now a delivery bear. My lord. <laughs> Got some more wood now, baby. Oh. Thought I saw like a little icon pop up up there. You're the everything bear? Sounds about right. I'm unbearably amazing. Looks like it might be clear outside. Man, we got screwed last night. It was supposed to rain today and be clear last night. And then it rained last night and now it looks like it's clearing up outside. Which would have been the good time to go up to where we were last night. Um, 
I think Beanie was up here. I'm assuming that was the ranger up here. Ranger danger. Oh, whoa, that was confusing. Beanie, hello. That's Sabine. Don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? I'm just a bear with my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. Good, physical activity is always a great idea. What? You can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah, then what am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use a bit of practice. No, I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just yoking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way up here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Oh my god. All right. Oliver, the bus person, he gave me a letter for you. Such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license. I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. Oh, okay. So this is how we unlock the buses. Got it. Burned up in a fire. Murdered everything. Everything was terrible. Uh, we now have a compass. Boom. Sweet. Well, that's cool. I like how just instantly back in bed. Oh, oh boy. You've obtained the compass, which unlocks uh, the area map view. That's cool. I feel like the bear puns are really polarizing. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the first episode, I didn't realize it had already been an hour. Um, for the first episode, I always try to keep them, you know, a little bit shorter so it's more accessible for people. Uh, so we've got this game. We've also got Endling that we need to finish as well. Um, so we got quite a few games. We're going to be out on the road still for 10 more days. Maybe more, actually. So, um, yeah. We got this. We got this. But uh, thank you all so much for hanging out. You wonderful, wonderful beans. I hope each and every one of you have a fantastic night. I'll see you all in the next one.